to send Brian off on his meeting for Monitors today. He's heading down to Bennington. He's going to be back here at the, at the airport later on this evening. Brian, I've known him for a long time. I've known him since he first ran for lieutenant governor in this state. He was a guest on our show on WVMT. That's how I got to meet Brian and, and become a friend with Brian. And since I've known him, I've known him to be one of the hardest working lieutenant governors in this state. There was absolutely no doubt about that. <laughs> The opportunity to talk with Brian on the radio and you've had the opportunity to listen to Brian from Cuba and that was an interesting conversation we'll get into that at some other point let you know about that from Quebec and of course from other parts of the state as Brian is traveling around not only around the state but also around the world promoting our great state and promoting our great products I am often reminded of a previous campaign when Brian was running for lieutenant governor and one of his opponents, by the way it was a failed campaign, um, pointed out in a video Brian, Brian's, Brian's office, and some of you may remember this, Brian's office, it was empty. It was like the I-team had come to Montpelier and we discovered your lieutenant governor is not in his office. And those of us that know Brian know why, because he was out working for us. That's why he wasn't in his office. He shouldn't be in his office. And those traits, that work ethic, that's what Brian's going to take to the next level as your next governor. knuckles for everybody. I was talking with Brian the other morning. He came on the program. How many doors have you knocked on since you've been campaigning? 20,000 and we got a lot more. <laughs> so if Brian or, or any of the campaign workers come knocking on your door on a Saturday or on a Sunday, no, they're not selling vacuum cleaners or encyclopedias. In fact, I don't think they do it that way anymore. It's probably all online. It's Brian and some of his hardworking volunteers, his campaigners. You guys that are here this morning, give yourselves a big hand. We're going to bring Brian up in just a moment. But we're going to let the governor introduce him this morning. Governor Jim Douglas. The governor... By the way, I'm sure we're all aware, the governor's going to be looking for a job shortly. <laughs> now, and I would hope that he would address this this morning and please end the speculation and the rumors as to Jim and Ernie in the morning. <laughs> I know it's got a nice ring to it, but, you know, I don't want to lose my job. Won't you please welcome Governor Jim Douglas.